In this video, we're going to show you how to play your favorite vinyl records with the new Electrohome RR75 Kingston 7-in-1 Vinyl Record Player. When you remove the system from the box, it's important to remove all protective packaging as it can prevent the turntable from spinning correctly. Open the lid over the turntable, lock the hinge, and turn the transit screw clockwise until the turntable floats freely. This screw holds the turntable to prevent it from moving during shipping. Next, connect the power cable to the back of the turntable, then plug it into a wall outlet. Flip the power switch on the back of the cabinet to the on position. Turn the system on by pressing the standby volume knob. Press the source tuning knob until phono is shown on the display. Place your record on the turntable platter. If using 45 RPM records, place the 45 adapter over the spindle. Using the speed selector switch on the turntable, set the correct speed for your record, 33, 45, or 78 RPM. Remove the stylus protector and unlock the tone arm. Lift the cueing lever to raise the tone arm. Once you move the tone arm over the record, the platter will start to spin. Lower the cueing lever and the stylus will slowly drop to the record and playback will start. Once the record ends, the turntable will automatically stop. The time it takes to stop may vary from one record to the next. Once you finish listening, return the tone arm to the rest. Lower the cueing lever and lock the tone arm in place. Ensure the tone arm cueing lever is lowered before locking to avoid damage to the tone arm. The Kingston also includes the option to play music from CDs, USB, Bluetooth, and through a 3.5mm aux connection. To change the source of your music, press the source tuning knob and the source name will appear on the display. These steps will walk you through these playback options. Bluetooth. Press the source knob on the front panel until BT appears on screen or press the Bluetooth button on the front panel or remote. Open the Bluetooth menu on your smartphone or tablet. Select Electrohome RR75 from the list. Once connected, the amber pairing icon will change from flashing to solid. You may need to adjust volume on both the source device and the RR75. Once paired, the system will pair automatically to your device when Bluetooth is selected. To reset Bluetooth pairing, press and hold the Bluetooth button for 3 seconds. AM FM radio. Press the source button until AM or FM appear on screen. Use the tuning knob or skip buttons on the front panel or remote control to move through the stations. To set a station as a preset, press and hold presets on the front panel or remote. A number will appear. Use the tuning knob or left right arrow buttons to select the desired preset number. Press Presets again to set the preset. Pressing the Presets button or up and down arrows on the remote will cycle through your preset stations. CDs. Press the source button until CD appears. 
Press the eject button to open the tray. Place your CD in the tray. Press the eject button to close it. Use the skip forward and back buttons on the front panel or remote to change songs. Holding these buttons will rewind or fast forward. USB. The Kingston can play music from a USB thumb drive. It cannot play from a smartphone or tablet connected with a USB cable. Press the source button until USB is shown on the display. Insert the USB thumb drive into the USB port. Use the skip buttons on the front panel or left and right arrows on the remote to change songs. Holding these buttons will fast forward or rewind. If you have music in different folders on the thumb drive, press the up and down arrows on the remote to change folders. Press play to start playback. Pressing it again will pause the music. Pressing the preset button will allow you to toggle through the repeat or shuffle options. The Electro Home Kingston can record to USB from records, CDs, or devices connected with Bluetooth and 3.5mm aux. To record from a record, aux, or Bluetooth, follow these steps. Select the audio source with the source button. Insert the USB thumb drive into the USB port. Start playing your music and press the record button to begin recording. The recording LED will be flashing red when recording is in progress. To record songs as separate files, press the skip button on the front panel or right arrow button on the remote to split the track. This allows you to separate songs without stopping the recording completely. When you finish recording, press the record button again to end the recording session. Your files will be saved on the USB drive in the record line in folder. When recording from a CD, all playback options will be locked. Recording can be stopped at any time, but you will not be able to pause the CD or skip tracks while recording. Select CD by pressing the source button. Insert the USB drive into the USB port. Press record to start recording. Use the skip buttons on the front panel or left and right arrows on the remote to switch between record one, record folder, and record all. Press record to start recording and the recording LED will flash red. Press record again to stop the recording. Your files will be saved on the USB drive in the record CDN folder. AUX. Press the source button until the display reads AUX. Connect a 3.5mm AUX cable to the headphone jack on your smartphone or tablet. Connect the other end of the cable to the aux in port on the back of the RR75. You will control playback with your smartphone or tablet. You may need to adjust the volume on both the audio source and the RR75.